In this session, we're going to analyze how to build a model of a smartphone. Most of you may own or at least have used a smartphone at some point. Let's consider the planning that needs to take place for us to build this model as efficiently as possible. Let's look at the technical drawing of this smartphone. If you had to choose one shape to describe the phone, it would be a rectangular solid. We can see that there are also some additional features like buttons on the side of the phone and small cutouts for the camera and speakers on the front and bottom faces. Our first step should be to make the phone body. After that's done, we can add on the buttons and other small features. Now that we have a plan, let's get started. Start a new session of discovery. Let's go to the model stage and begin the design. Before you start sketching or creating any geometry, take a moment to notice the world origin indicated by the X, Y, and Z axes. For the purposes of this exercise, X will represent left and right, Y will represent top and bottom, and Z will represent front and back. In the sketch view, press the letter V on your keyboard or the plan view button to reorient the sketch plane that is along the X, Y axis. Start the rectangle sketch tool and from the options panel, select draw from center. Place the starting point in the center and sketch a rectangle that's 200 millimeters high by 100 millimeters wide. Use the tab key to select the dimension and enter the appropriate value. Start the pull tool and give the rectangular profile a thickness of eight millimeters in the negative Z direction. In the model tree on the left side of the window, right click on the solid and select move to new component. Right click on the new component and name the component phone body. Let's take a moment to review what this operation does. When you're designing in Discovery, you can work on a single part or you can create an assembly made up of multiple parts. Adding a part to a component indicates to Discovery that the geometry should not interact with other components. Otherwise, the default behavior is for solid bodies to merge if they come in contact during a pull operation. The next time you activate the pull tool, take a minute to look at the options panel on the right side. You should see a button there called No Merge. This can be used to prevent two solid bodies from merging, but it's good to get into the habit of creating components if you plan to make an assembly. Whenever possible, it's also a good idea to create geometry that's symmetric about the world origin. This will make it easier to design more complex models since you'll be able to use the origin as a measuring reference and to orient new features. At this point, we could add the radius to the edges of the phone body but we're going to wait to do that so we have a convenient reference for dimensioning the features we're going to create next. Let's change the color of the phone body to make it look more realistic. In the ribbon at the top of the window, click Display. Select the phone body component from the model tree. Click the color swatch under the Display tab to expand the color menu. Pick any color you want for the phone body. You can also do the same operation by selecting the body and using Select Color on the right side of the HUD. Our phone body is starting to look like the real thing. The next thing we'll do is create the screen. In the model tree, right click on the top entry and select rename. Name this part phone. Press enter. Right click again and select new component. Right click on this new component and rename it as screen. Notice that the color of the phone body component changed in the window. The text in the word screen is also bold and orange. This means the bold component has been activated. When you activate a component, it indicates to Discovery that any operations or new items created should be applied only to that component. This includes items like sketches and operations like pulling to add or cut material. Hide the phone body component. Select the Z axis and switch to sketch mode. Press V on the keyboard to orient the sketch to the plan view. 
Create a rectangle using the draw from center option and make it 92 millimeters wide and 166 millimeters high. As discussed previously, try to make at least one dimension symmetric about the world origin. Start the pull tool and pull the profile 0.25 millimeters in the positive Z direction. Now let's create rounds at the four corners of the screen. With the pull tool already activated, select one of the corner edges of the screen body. Click the status bar at the bottom and select the power select option to open the power selection panel. Now click the option edges with same length. This should select the remaining three corner edges. Press the spacebar and specify a radius of one millimeter. Click the status bar again to close the power selection panel. Now display the phone body. Before we continue, we have to make sure that the screen is in the correct location compared to the body of the phone. Press H on your keyboard to align the geometry to the home view. Select screen in the model tree and start the move tool. Move the screen component up above the phone body in order to get a clearer view of the screen's location. The first thing we'll do is make sure the vertical position of the screen is correct. Recall that we said the Y axis would represent top and bottom. Adjust the position of the Move tool so that it's located on one of the bottom edges of the screen. Click the Move handle that matches the Y direction. Click the Ruler button, then select the bottom face of the phone body to create a dimension. The distance from the bottom of the phone to the bottom of the screen should be 20 millimeters. Adjust the position of the Move tool again so that it's located on one of the edges on the side of the screen. Select the Move handle that matches the X direction and click the Ruler tool again. Measure the distance to the nearest side face of the phone body. The distance from either side should be 4 millimeters. Adjust the position of the Move tool one last time so that it's located on the front face of the screen. Select the handle pointing in the Z direction and activate the up to command in the HUD. Now select the front face of the phone body. The screen component should now be entirely within the phone body. We can now use the geometry of the screen to cut out its place in the phone body. Start the combine tool from the design toolbar. Select the phone body as the target object and the screen as the cutter object to execute the combine operation. The overlapping material will be highlighted in pink Click the pink body to automatically delete the excess geometry. The screen should now be clearly visible within the body of the phone. Press S on the keyboard to exit the combine tool. Go back to the display tab and assign a different color to the screen. Right click the top entry in the model tree and select activate component for modeling. It's good to save the model at this step. Go to the File menu and click Save. As you can see, the majority of our phone is done by creating two fairly simple components. In the next videos, we will focus on creating the finer details like the buttons and holes for the speakers and charging port.